This is a nice project to get started with in Rhino. So the first thing you're looking at is four different views of the same objects. You have a couple of cubes, a cone, a cylinder, a sphere, and they're all laid out on a big base plane. Because we're looking at a 3D object on a 2D surface, so generally the idea is you put a lot of cameras on it. So here's a camera that's looking from the top down. Here's a camera that's looking from one side. We'll just call it the front. Doesn't necessarily have to be the front, but... And here's another camera looking at it from another side, which is called the right side. If you want to switch your views, or you only want to look at one view, you can double-click on the word that describes the view. So I'm going to double click on perspective and here's my entire view right here. If I want to go back I can double click on perspective again and I can get back to that. So if you want to rotate around hold down the right mouse button and move your mouse and you can see different views. You can see how this is all drawn in perspective too. So of course here the cubes look bigger than the other objects and if I rotate around in the opposite direction the opposite happens. So this is giving a perspective view. However in the right front and top view you do not get a perspective view. So you can see even though I can see that my cube is farther away than my sphere here they both look the same size, so perspective is turned off in these three views. It's only turned on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off in the perspective mode and we're going to take these cubes. I'm going to make a copy of this cube. Before I make a copy, what I'm going to make sure is that my object snaps are on and I'm going to turn off the gumball. So you can see if these things are bold, that means they are on. If they're not bold, they are off. Now, when I select an object, I click on it, and it gets a yellow outline. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, select it. And I'm going to make a copy of this. Now before I make a copy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that another thing is on, and that is my object snap. You remember object snaps from AutoCAD. Object snaps means we can snap to a particular point. I'm going to make sure that my end point object snap is on. The way I can tell there's a check mark next to it right here. So what I want to do is I'm going to go up here to the Transform menu and select copy. Now, again, same thing as an AutoCAD. What I want to do is select the object I want to work with, go to the Transform menu, and then select Copy. Now, first thing I need to do is I need to grab this from some point. I'm going to grab it by its end point right here. So I'm going to click on the end point, and now I can move it around. Now you can actually see there's where it was. It's kind of a gray outline there. And don't worry, it's still there. I'm going to copy it to this point right here. And that way, now you can see I've got two of them. When I want to finish copying, I can just press Enter. And I'm done. So I made a copy. Now the key thing is, is that it's snapped, kind of like a Lego brick. It's snapped right there. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to make a continuous copy and I'm going to go to the, I'm going to select my object, transform copy. I'm going to grab it from this corner right here and I'm going to keep on copying. Now notice that white line that shows up. This is called the smart track. What that does is it shows me that these are all along the same line. That just helps me guide my block into position. I'm going to copy that there. And I'm going to keep on copying until I have 10 of them. Now you notice I have kind of run out of room on the screen here. So what I can do to get more space 
is I can go up here and select my pan view, which is also shift right mouse button. So I'm going to hold the shift key down and press the right mouse button and that will pan that over. And I'll just keep going until I get 10 blocks. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I have 10 blocks. I'm going to press Enter. And there is a row of 10 blocks right there. So the next thing I want to do is go vertical. I'm going to start another row of blocks and just keep going until I have 100 blocks. Now that may seem like a lot of effort, but we can find a quick shortcut because instead of doing one block at a time, what I can do is I can drag a window around this entire selection that I made. So now I've selected all that entire row. I'm going to go transform and copy. And again, I'm going to grab it from this corner right here. And I can just barely see that. I'm going to copy it straight up. And then again, and again, and again, okay, zoom out a bit. So that is and press enter. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, well, I got an extra height row there up top. If I want to get rid of that, I'm going to drag a window around that. I selected just that row and I can press the delete key. Okay, that's better. Now I've got a row of 10 blocks by 10 blocks. Now, next thing I want to do is I'm going to be making four more walls. So again, the idea is, well, I've got this one wall right here. Um, I select the entire wall and I'm going to switch views here. So I'm now looking at my top view right here. I'm going to transform and copy this entire wall and I'm going to copy it straight back to about there. Now what I'd also like to do is I'd like walls running along and the other side. So what I've got to do is I've got to rotate this wall. So what I'll do is I will make another copy. I'm going to put it over here. And I'm going to select this wall and to rotate it what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the gumball. So the gumball is this little icon right here. And I'll open up so you can see that. And what it lets me do is it lets me move things horizontally, vertically, and also rotate them. I'm going to undo that rotation by pressing Control Z. Control Z is the undo key. Now what I want to do is I want to rotate this by 90 degrees. So I'm going to click on this and type in the numbers 90. Press Enter. Okay, now I have rotated that by 90 degrees. I'm going to select Transform. I'm going to copy this because I'd like another wall over on the side. doesn't matter where I copy it to because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my perspective window and I'm going to reassemble them. Now here's the tricky bit when you want to select things. Now of course if I try and drag a window around this wall you notice that I'm going to be selecting a whole bunch of the other wall. So it gets a little tricky trying to position things so you can select them. So sometimes what's better to do is this is why we've got the top view. If you notice in the top view I can just drag a window around this wall and now I can switch back to perspective, transform, copy, or sorry, this time I'm going to move, not copy. So I'm going to move this from here to here. All right. And then same thing here. Transform move. And 
rotate around so I can see. I'm going to grab it from this corner right here and I'm going to move it to this corner right here. And lastly, my other wall transform move from this corner right here to this corner right here. Okay, so now I have four walls. So now I can start to decorate it. So what I can do is I can start deleting blocks for a make a door. I can make some battlements up top just by selecting and deleting some blocks here, every other block. Right now it's kind of just kind of fun to decorate it. You can kind of do what you want. Now the other pieces are used for some other decorations. So let's say what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a column. And again, same thing. What I can do with my cylinder here, I'm going to go transform and copy. And I'm going to copy from this quad point. So a quad point, if you remember from AutoCAD, is one side of a circle. And I can copy it straight up to another quad point. And I can make a column of these. And then, of course, I can start to copy those. And I can put them out front here in front of my door. Well, they're, they're slightly embedded inside, but that's okay. Well, this is really just some ideas you can do. If I want to put the cylinders, now here's a tricky bit. If I want to put a cylinder on top of the castle, so I'm going to make some points along here. So the gumball will let me move things in 3D. I can drag it upwards, but the problem with the gumball is it doesn't let me snap into position. So what if I want to snap this so it fits right on top of here? Well, what I can do is I can move it from a midpoint right here to another midpoint right here. And then I can copy that from here again to here to here. So that's just some ideas. You can use all of these objects to copy them from various points. You find the circle has an end point on the top and the bottom and a quad point. So all these objects have object snaps and you can use them in various ways. So follow the picture that's in your directory and you can come up with something pretty creative.